Well, on loser side, Falco versus Ridley. This is going to be a really interesting grand finals here. We've seen Citadel play against Rondor's Falco just the last set. And so it's going to be really interesting to see how Bonk is going to be able to change it up against Citadel because he has that matchup experience in his brain already since he just played one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he did. Now, I know Bonk has been experimented with a, a bevy of characters. His, his Shulk, uh, Ken, for a while, I, I know he saw, uh, he saw some use out of. The Falco's new. The Falco's a new one. <laughs> But hey, the stocks on this character has been rising uh, exponentially as of late, not only with players like Tilde, uh, players like Larry Lur picking him back up, uh, Falco players making uh, PRs across uh, the country and doing well over the overseas as well. Falco is a character with a lot of upside and a lot of good advantage in a game that treasures a long advantage state so well, and Cedardell just can't seem to escape the blender. As Bonk, who has a good advantage state of his own, they would have put it onto this bird and see how it runs. Indeed, but Bonk having a lot of trouble making it back on a stage and will not be able to. Both players now at two stocks, zero percent apiece, and so far they're just having a basic neutral going on. And it looks like Bonk was able to get something going. However, now it's in Citadel's hands, and Citadel will definitely not let that go. Oh, Bonk going a little bit risky, recovering down from that low, and Citadel giving stage control back to himself. And now Bonk is going to have to get in and get rid of this stage control from Citadel, and looks like he's able to. Getting the only a one hit and the unexpected hit. From both of those up tilts, but you're far too close. This should be a result in a stock if you're Citadel. You cannot let Bonk come back to stage as he goes for the back air too high. A good coverage though on his own mishap. He realized that Bonk and, and that good players often neutral get up in order to make turn things around. It's so hard to hit neutral get up in that one frame if you don't have a lingering aerial. And Citadel called that out just with good stuff from Bonk. Uh, good stuff from Citadel. And good I'm stuff to keep it going. Combos. Yeah, I'm oh, liking yeah. the ladder up air combos that were coming in from Bonk there a second ago, but he's able to take the stock off of Citadel, and now Bonk is going to need to do the Smash 4 Bayonetta combos with Falco on this Ridley, because otherwise he's going to be in such a huge disadvantage uh, going into game two that it's not going to be easy to make it back. And looks like he's able to do it so far, not taking very much of a percent uh, so far from the beginning of Citadel's last stock here. However, neutral has been reset, and Bonk is now looking for a way to approach back in, and he looks like he's able to do it with forward air. Gets the up tilt into back air. Now off stage, Citadel's gonna need to try to make it back, and looks like Citadel once again having a bit of trouble trying to get back onto stage. And there's a couple laser shots in the down air spike for the kill coming in from Bonk, taking that nice comeback with game one going in his favor. Had enough already? Yeah, adjusting his uh, himself a little bit in his chair, giving a nice deep breath, very clean stuff from Bonk, realizing that if he can put Citadel in a position where he wants to approach ledge head on, I mean, those wings are incredibly large and slightly disjointed for Ridley up special. But if he's not, a, if you're not interacting with the wings and going after the body, that's a free down air for Falco, who's hunting for down airs all day, every day. Game one Indeed, going that was, to... That was absolutely not pretty indeed. And here we are, game two. Once again, Pokemon Stadium 2, the absolute best stage in the game. And once again, Bog just getting the advantage in his favor. However, Citadel is going to pull the tides into his favor instead. And now both players are pretty much just going back and forth at this rate. However, Bonk having a little bit of a disadvantage so far with the 30% differential. Citadel is playing this like he's walking on eggshells, as he should. One neutral win for Bonk usually means a whole lot more than it does for him. So he's got to play this extremely carefully, and sometimes you end up throwing out the options, throwing out reversals, as they least expect it. This has been a test of Citadel's neutral, and so far he's been really passing, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best combo characters in the game, with one of easiest two combo characters in the game not a good mix but he's making it work with this stock lead indeed and so far citadel having that stock advantage but as i say that he takes the dive and loses his stock as a result 
and now both players are even. However, Citadel looking to have a little bit of the mot motivation or the rotation in his favor, but now Bonk having a little bit of uh, air to breathe. And once you give him a little bit of room to breathe, suddenly so this damage stacks up very quickly. Going for the down tilt. I'm surprised that down with that uh, back out of shield really connected. But he's going to make the most out of the spot like this. That was so clean. Oh my lord. The double jump drift back before it falling in with that down there. Kind of expecting Citadel to try and snipe at ledge. Super clean stuff. And hey, one neutral win for Falco means so much damage as he does it again. Citadel trying to set up a poke at ledge, and Bonk is just not there. Alright, now off stage, Bonk is gonna have a little bit of trouble, and he's able to gimp with the side special coming in. Oh no, you shouldn't have done that, but it doesn't even matter anyways, because he's gonna take the stock off of Citadel now on one stock remaining. Citadel doesn't care, he's just gonna up smash like he wants to do, and taking the stock away from Bonk. Both players now, one stock remaining for game two. It's all down to this, pretty much at this point. Both players need to get combos going and getting the kill confirmed, just pretty much a zero to death at this point and so that way they can keep that momentum going for the next game and bonk off stage needs to figure a way to get neutral back in his favor and he looks like he was able to but citadel gets it back onto his side he missed that grab which was so important to keep things going but hey bonk is still trying to put together and there it is third time doesn't get away scott free citadel going for his move a little bit early in guys for instead of a two frame attempt uh, a little bit early on that side of the two frame attempt that way he could bait the high risk high reward value punish out from bonk and punish that accordingly this game of rock paper scissors on the right leg was so interesting to watch but bonk couldn't get away with a rising downer off of ledge for the third time and citadel makes it one two one Indeed, and here we go, game number three, a small battlefield. And now, the weird thing is that with this game, you have both players sitting at 1-1 apiece. And so, what really I'm wondering at this point is, who do you think will have the adaptation uh, this game? If I'm going to give it in any slight favor, I feel like Citadel has just been playing so unbelievably on point. On top of the fact that Bonk isn't on a character that he's as familiar with. Of course, there's a lot of things that carry over from how experienced Bonk is, but when you get to see a player with a character mastery, you get to see so many interesting tricks that you learn about from just playing the character at a high level. Falco, he's doing Falco things, and he's doing them all well, but is he going to be able to stand up to Signal as he learns how to beat Bonk? I don't know exactly, but hey, it's well, on yeah. a good showing right now. Yeah, like I was about to say, I don't know about to... you, but so far Bonk is proving you wrong and still sure, living, sure. even from side special coming in from Citadel, and now not that one. <laughs> now, Citadel, he's he's getting a lot of these rock, paper, scissors. Like, his situation's down. He's punishing where he can and getting a fair bit of damage as he does so. But Bonk has just been playing the matchup so well and playing uh, this Falco, yeah, the Falco Ruby matchup, Falco Big Bodies matchups extremely potently to the point where Citadel, uh, he's got to find, he's got to find deep in his bag of Ruby tricks in order to get through uh, just how much damage and just how much output Bonk is putting together. Yeah, that is another stop down and bonk holding on to this lead with a ever so slow, a stop lead and looking to make this damage snowball ever so much like all Smash Ultimate tends to do. Oh, those Falcon fan weapons are so nice. Absolutely, and Bonk with this impressive lead so far, not going to get rid of it for as long as he can. And Citadel having a, such a big disadvantage with being such a big character like Ridley. And now you're seeing as to why Falco has the advantage. You're a big character. You a big boy, Ridley. It's not going to be easy to get out of these combos. And now you're at kill percent at this point. 
Looks for the up air, but he, but Citadel going for the down air, ca catching Bonk off guard there. But he has one extra stock remaining. So you're at a fringe point at this rate. And there it is. Just a simple up air for the kill. Bonk taking it 2-1 now. And only one game stands between Bonk winning grand finals. I mean... As much as I give credit for how Citadel's playing and how he was adapting to a lot of some of the uh, more niche scenarios that comes with a matchup like this on ledge in disadvantage uh, at nausea, but Falco can just be so overwhelming in his presence uh, both on stage and once he finds that hit, and while you can say to the world's end, just don't get hit, just don't let Falco find that some of his really potent starters, it's really hard when you're Ridley to just not get hit sometimes. Steve has a little bit more options in that scenario. Indeed, and here we are, game four. Once again at Small Battlefield and Citadel going with the swap to Enderman. I'm liking this switch because it definitely needed to because Bonk had that adaptation against the Ridley. And now he's got to deal with such a harder character to deal with because of all the nasty little tricks that Steve can do. Yeah, this uh, this Enderman is no sh uh, a little bit of a gremlin. Though not letting him set up these walls is Bonk and Blink trying to get this neutral air, finds the spot on it to down smash the, the traps that came out from, uh, from Bonk, rising with that neutral air back on the stage, forcing out either a, a hit before the ledge or a spot dodge or defensive option. And that grab was kind of, felt very scouted from Bonk. Indeed, and now Citadel has complete stage advantage to himself, and he just does not care about Bonk whatsoever. He's at a high enough percent where he can take the kill off, and he's just looking for resources now. He's going in the salt mines, he's trying to find the diamond, and he doesn't care who comes to try to take that diamond away from him, because he's just going to bonk you with the, with the down air in order to get his diamond that he's been so desperately looking for. There is that up to a couple interesting starters, though nothing doing quite yet. A couple tea bags on the ledge, or maybe he was just unable to get off so quickly. But there it is. That's what uh, that's what Steve players are known for: finding a cheeky little up to and taking it for a ride. Only forty percent, though. You're almost taking that if you're Falco, because you know you do just as much damage off of an up tilt yourself. Absolutely, and so far Bonk is doing a really good job against the Steve matchup in particular. He's got them. He's got the percent lead so far, and he's only approaching when he knows it's safe to approach, which is something that's very important to do against Steve because it's not easy approaching against Steve. And uh, got the TNT set up. He's going for it, and he does it. And now with one stock remaining, Bonk is gonna need to get this 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 stock off so quickly as, because he doesn't want to take the disadvantage even further and he's able to do it so now both players one stock remaining very low percent it's a matter of whether or not Bonk will be able to take it over Citadel for winning grand finals or will Citadel be able to take it with a nasty steep combo potentially for the win and that was a super important in stock to take. Not only did it remove Citadel, it removed Citadel of Diamond, uh, not only of that lead, but gold is just as potent sometimes, and he has to find ways to get off ledge. Oh, that was a multifaceted trap, and you can't get away from a powered up minecart with just a laser, my friend. Bonk falling to that charge of a minecart, expecting the neutral get up and getting blown straight back citadel still in this looking for the reset hunting for that uh vacation w keeping it wrapped in the no pause for no pause tournaments but we still got a game five to go through in this set one and can bomb down indeed indeed and we cannot ask for a better game five from both of these players just going back and forth between each other and we're taking this game five the small battlefield once again and now bonk is getting that combo going with falco not taking a bit of percent until now and keeping it going and wants to keep it going he wants the advantage for as long as possible because otherwise steve with the advantage momentum is very hard to get rid of Oh, but that's no jump on Citadel's part. All he has available are things like minecart and 
no text available to him either. It seems like as Sidney starts out in a major hole, Bonka just he put together a couple strings and kept advantage off of multiple anti airs. That's exactly how you draw it up if you're a Falco player. So Citadel is trying to trying to uh, erase the erase the board and make something new on that canvas. Ooh, it looks guy. like Monk wasn't able to die from the TNT explosion there. Pretty lucky on his end. However, Bonk needs to get even more of this lead going because he's giving the advantage over to Citadel and he wants to keep it to himself. Oh, getting caught by the minecart. He does have the ability to get back, but not against any sort of uh, interruption that came out from Citadel. And that anvil will certainly do it. Look at the damage that fish just poured up so quickly. And these wall jump out bears aren't going to do it anymore. You look at all of these resources that just got blown through so quickly. Citadel said, not today. You're not taking that zero to death early game for granted. Are you, sir? Because he can do it all the same. Oh, uh, this is exactly what I was talking about before, about how Bonk needed to take the advantage into his hands and wasn't able to, because once Steve has the momentum, he will not let that advantage go. And now both players are at one stock apiece. However, I don't know if you noticed, but Citadel finally found the diamond that he's been looking for, and that's going to be very, very, very dangerous here with how high of a percent this Falco has. That up there off of ledge was super potent, interrupting the minecart. That was huge. No gold on deck, which means these minecarts aren't as powerful as a reversal option as they see. He read the jump but missed the four there. Oh, he yeah, knew he football. needed to wait to get the shield going because he knew. He knew Citadel was going to go for the tried and true Steve Classic up smash. And that's exactly what happened. And he blocked himself so that way he could get the forward smash and abuse his forward smash hitbox and reset the bracket, which means we're going into set two of grand finals, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, just... Steve things through and through, right? You block off uh, where Bonk can land and give yourself a wall to swing through. And clean stuff from Citadel just answering the call after a rough start to the game. And we'll see if Bonk decides to go the Shulk. Okay, this is a little bit more familiar. Uh, something that I know he's been practicing as recently as Let's Make Big Moves uh, going this character. Uh, not in bracket, but practicing outside of said bracket. And Shulk against Steve is often seen as one of Steve's more uh, frustrating matchups, to say the least. Uh, having it on full display uh, last night on uh, the Platinum Star Weekly with Ranger against Stefan, two newly minted New Jersey PR players. Let's see it. Uh, let's see how it goes in Philly style. <laughs> Indeed. And I find it really interesting that you said that the Shulk matchup against Steve is a bit of a frustrating one because I did not know that, honestly, because I have not seen enough Shulks fighting um, Steve myself to really get an idea of how that matchup goes. But now, so far, I'm seeing a bit of an even matchup between both of these players, and it's just a matter of whether or not Bonk will be able to get in with how big uh, Shulk's Buster Sword is. I said Buster Sword. It's the Monado. What am I thinking? <laughs> No, it's oh, that was a great little twist there from Bonk and with Smash Art. Yeah, that back throw will certainly do it. Run right into his facing mining. Uh, he does have the uh, uh, the length to get back. Yeah, Shulk can generally do super well in this matchup. Not only because his uh, attributes are so modular, uh, able to get around many of the block setups that Steve can go for. Uh, you don't have to worry about minecart because not only do you have a counter but you also just have a large sword able to climb with it pretty reliably. Edge guarding with air slash is extremely good and blocks are never a problem for you. Indeed, and so far we're seeing it from Bonk just how much of an advantage Shulk may actually have over Steve. And I'm gonna say color me impressed. I am waiting to see how this goes because like, you can't deal with Shulk as Steve. Like, Steve has an insane combo game, but how can you deal with these giant hitboxes coming out from Shulk, you know? Yeah, the range in combination with the safety. I mean, Shulk's sword is already massive, but then you combine the fact that things like neutral there are minus two on block, and there's just 
extremely, it's extremely difficult to get away from that, combined with speed art and all of the damage you're able to put together, smash art for reliable early kills, and getting back to lead, getting back to stage throughout all these ledge traps can be done with jump art, and you gotta take hard reads to the next level if you want to catch a, slope, a shulk slipping with some of his Monado arts these days. Indeed, and and just how much of a lead right now that Bonk has. He really doesn't need to worry that much about potentially losing this stock because he's got such a high percent on Citadel already that it, it shouldn't matter. If he's able to get Smash Art forward Smash, for example, it's a kill. So he doesn't have to necessarily worry as much. However, Citadel is not making that easy at all for him and gets the Smash Art going. He's gonna be looking for a kill, but he switches over to speed smart choice to go here oh i he didn't think he was no gonna words. make it back oh does he live no he doesn't that is a surprise it looked like he was gonna di it correctly however it did not look like it was enough as citadel takes game one of set of grand final set two there's two interesting things that go in steve's favor in this matchup one as we can see it in the replay up tilt combos don't really change when uh, Shulk goes into shield art. While the hit stun is reduced, Steve's frame data is just that good. Two, Shulk does have a little bit of an exploitable recovery, so if you're able to put him at such enough distance, things like down tilt and uh, down tilt are able to set up into reliable offstage back airs and forward airs to clean up stocks. Finding those situations is incredibly difficult, but if you are, and especially with Diamond on deck, stocks can be resolved just as quickly as stocks can be and on you. As we finally see the Mennonite coming out from Shulk. Uh, coming Absolutely. out from Bonk, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, and I'm definitely like looking at this and thinking, will this actually work? But it will with the zero to death coming in from Bong. Yeah, as I mentioned last time we saw Bonk, uh, sometimes, uh, oftentimes, Meta Knight's combos work better on floatier characters than they do on fast followers. And Steve uh, doesn't have the greatest gravity in this game. He's not necessarily a floaty or a fast follower, but he's that nice mid-weight that works just well enough for Bonk to be able to do Bonk things. And what do Bonk like things that. include? Uh, taking stocks in round 45. You know, usual. <laughs> <laughs> So far, Bonk is just proving that he's able to contend with this Steve for sure and uses down special to knock the TNT away. What an excellent use of your toolkit there. And now he's looking for a, another uh, for another combo here on Citadel to get the percent lead even more going, basically. He's, I mean, he's brought out the big guns and he's not trying to, he's not trying to let uh, Mr. Sitter don't make a fool out of him just yet, despite the Falco working for a while until it stopped and the Shulk not working long enough. Bog's still not trying to let this W slip away from him that quickly. As it is 1 0 in this reset Citadel with the game lead, though not with the stock lead. Two stocks to one, though he does have diamond. Indeed, and it looks like Bonk going for the run of the mill Meta Knight combo here, but he wasn't able to keep it going. He decides to use side special instead to keep him a bit going in terms of resetting neutral. Goes for the forward smash, doesn't get anything off of it, and now Citadel looking for even more of a combo than he already has. Got the stage advantage on his own, making Bonk move away a little bit. However, now it's Bonk with the stage advantage definitely wanting to make it hard for citadel to make it back here and take the game for himself but citadel is not gonna give in without a fight yeah he had no iron for the longest time and he didn't respect the dimensional cape from legend if you don't do that dimensional slash is gonna take souls take names and take stocks for sure as that game goes over to bonk with a two stock in the grand finals reset I mean, Indeed. Good stuff from Bonk. He's just showing that while he is, while he has some secondaries that he's working on, and while he's still a very sound player going all across by a couple of games, this Meta Knight specialist will always be stuck to the, to the uh, Ghost of the Blade. Indeed. And 
in all honesty, I feel like this is the character that Bonk was looking for. He's been looking for the character that will take down Steve, and this could potentially be it. However, Citadel is not making that case as easy as I thought, as already with a 63% advantage over Bonk so far. Yeah, just how Steve can tend to operate. Like, just you find your starters, you find your easy ways of connecting a lot of damage. And at high percents, Steve has a lot of raw kill power off of insane reversals or massively spacing back airs. On top of some good SDI, and Bonk can make it. <laughs> you can make it hard for Bonk, but Bonk has seen every type of counterplay to his ladders in the books. So you can't always get away from smoothies uh, kill combos. All right, and Bonk having the advantage now going with the ladder combos doesn't get it off though. However, not going to make it a too big of an issue because Citadel is just doing whatever he can to make it back on stage. And now Bonk looking for that opportunity to get back in and do a potential ladder combo or off the stage combo. He gets him away. Now he's looking for an opening for a kill confirm, whether it be a forward smash or something else. It's not an easy move to connect. However, Citadel taking care of Bonk like it's nothing. And now with one stock remaining, Bonk is going to have to get this kill as soon as possible. Wow, and he missed both neutral airs as it looks like Citadel was almost going for it all with that runoff forward air. I don't know if he had a pickaxe remaining, but at 152 and plenty of materials, Citadel is in an amazing spot, even if he does drop this stock, he can refresh his diamond next stock, and then, and then goes the stock with the track down back air into down smash. Citadel immediately refreshing his diamond tools, getting some more materials, four, five irons on deck, gold and redstone are plenty. You're facing Steve at full power, and see if Bonk can uh, rise to the challenge that it is becoming Citadel after every single game. And with just one character, Citadel learns and evolves with this Steve and just how good he is at keeping you away and making you feel excellent, making you feel terrible. But so is not going to be it. any combo. Like, I will spend so long saying, wow, Citadel's playing amazing. And then Bomb gets a weak dash attack and kills you all of it. <laughs> you cannot count out Meta Knight whatsoever. Like a knight in shining armor, he comes in and takes names like it's nothing. My goodness, Bonk now with one game away from winning Grand Finals, even with a reset. Man, Citadel is going to have a hard time dealing with this Meta Knight, but he's going to have to do it here because otherwise, how else are you supposed to take Grand Finals for yourself? Kind of got dunked on, going to be honest. Like, that's a huge momentum swing that just went to Bonk's favor. It felt like you had that pivotal game three, the all-important game three in your grasp, and then Bonk just said no. And Bonk is going to still say, say no, no once again, but doesn't get the kill because Citadel DI'd it correctly. But Citadel is currently off stage, which is a little bit of a problem. However, he makes it back onto stage with Bonk not really doing anything to counterplay it. Oh, he doesn't get the kill off of the shuttle loop, though, as another up smash. That won't do it either. Bonk finding his kill moves, but not resulting in the stock too much, uh, too little percent. The forward air into shuttle loop, that one will do it, though. If you can confirm into shuttle loop, you're feeling pretty good. If you're a Meta Knight player, Bonk, you're feeling pretty good about that one. Indeed, and now he looked like he was going for a lot of combo off to the side of the stage However, wasn't able to get it, but he's looking pretty comfortable so far even at 90% Bonk is in a good spot because that little bit of rage there gives you a little bit of an extra height when you're using up airs into up special just like that however citadel still makes it out alive but he catches meta knight jumping out of the minecart and gets with the up smash like he wanted for the kill but it might be potentially a little too late but because Ooh. now the mo the mo that was super great combo route coming out from uh, Citadel, using uh, towering the blocks, but instead of finishing with something vertical, he finished with a forward air trying to then throw down perhaps even an anvil. Either way, it was a ton of damage. And it feels like as soon as the percent hits zero, you're getting to 73 super quickly. 
as Bonk has a chance to snowball this lead. It, or at the very least, uh, the appear to snowball this lead before Citadel takes his stock and gets his 70% combo of his own. Indeed, but now with only one stock remaining, Citadel is potentially on his last stock of the tournament. So it is now in Bonk's favor to get a kill here as soon as possible if he wants to win vacation 91 and it and it looks like he wants uh -oh. it bad he wants it bad but he ain't able to get the kill just yet it ain't over yet both players are now at one stock apiece citadel is going to need need Ubel to get this kill in order to take it to game five but bonk is not gonna make that easy my friend of course not. You see what Citadel wants. He's walking forward. He, when the, given the space, he'll find and when coming at him, he's gonna throw out these up tilts. It's a win condition in my book. And Bonk trying to play around some of these more dangerous starters as much as possible. Coming down with some of these safe aerials, but getting equipped by Citadel. Some of these trades finding the shuttle loop, but not gonna result in the stock quite yet. Still at 27, still holding down. Trying to pressure shield, trying to go for a shield, but with that dimensional slash, but nothing doing that forward smash. Nothing gonna kill yet. As Citadel playing center that stage. Be it. No, no not yet. This one will almost, this could almost do it though. Recovering back from stage, gets the down smash. Running low on resources, but Meta Knight could always find his way back to stage, but Citadel keeps the pressure on. 72. Hard to get past that. It has to go for the dimensional kick. Gets back to center. 140. Sitting on pretty, sitting very terrible. Gets the grab. Doesn't see a platform, so he's going for the down throw. Consistency with that back. Gets the back air with that. He gets it. He gets it. The back air will take it. And with that, your winner for Vacation 91 will go to Illuse Bong. Yeah, Illusion Gaming, repping, uh, repping Bonk in throughout multi many uh, many games, many turns in his career, and he's got another one in the books. Almost finding many many a kills, uh, not uh, not ending in the stock, and many a kill sparks being false finishers. But he does find that back here in mid stage as we get a good look at throughout grand finals. Multiple characters have been played, Falco. And Steve and Shulk on Bonk, Falco, Shulk, Meta Knight, Citadel, uh, Citadel going Steve and or Enderman and Ridley. But after a game nine set, Bonk is the one that takes it all. Absolutely. Who would have thought it came to this at all? I mean, just non stop back and forth between both players, and it took us all the way to nine whole games. What an impressive grand finals from both of our players. And what an impressive bracket from all of our players today, honestly. Just amazing sets coming in from everybody that came in tonight. And just a fantastic, fantastic day it has been. Yeah, in 